はいえーまあ、本日は、えー、と昨年の、まあ、国連総会以来ですが、1年ぶりに、えー、日米韓、えー、外相会合を開催できますこと、えー、大変嬉しく思います。えー、今般の、えー、核実験をはじめとする、えー、北朝鮮の、えー、挑発行動や、えー、核・ミサイル開発の進展は、えー、これまでとは、まあ、次元の異なる、えー、脅威であり、えー、国際社会には、今ままでとは異なる対応が,が求められています日米韓が国際社会の取り組みの中核を担いリードするべきであると考えます北朝鮮に対し挑発行動を繰り返しては国際社会から孤立し明るい未来はないことを分からせなければなりませんさらなる制裁措置を含む安保理決議、各国独自の措置等を通じて、圧力を強化するべく、日米韓で緊密に連携していきたいと考えます。アジアの安全保障環境がより一層厳しくなる中、日米同盟と米韓同盟、そして未来志向の日韓関係が、地域の平和と安定に果たすべき役割、一層大きくなっています。本日は、喫緊の課題である北朝鮮への対応をはじめ、安全保障を含む幅広い分野における日米韓三国協力を進化させるべく、率直な意見交換を行いたいと思います。えー、冒頭、えーケリー長官、そしてユン長官、それぞれ、えー、まず、えー、お言葉をいただきたいと思います。まず、ジョン、よろしくお願いします。Well, Fumio, thank you very much, and、uh, Byung-sae, thank you for Joining us here for this trilateral meeting, let, let me just begin by emphasizing as strongly as I can that the alliance, the obligations, the mutual、uh, interests that we share,、uh, and our efforts to protect them、uh, could not be stronger. And the United States remains deeply committed to our treaty obligations, to our Mutual defense obligations and to rolling back the provocative, reckless behavior of the DPRK.、Uh, we are working closely with you and with all of our,、uh, all of the interested parties in the region to be sure that we make it clear to、uh, a reckless dictator. That all he is doing through his actions is isolating his country, isolating his people, depriving his people of genuine economic uh, opportunity, uh, and that the global community will not be intimidated and will not pull back from our obligations under the Nonproliferation Treaty and all of our. Uh, international efforts to rein in nuclear weapons rather than see them proliferate,、uh, we are going to continue、uh, on our course.、Uh, we have said many times that we are prepared to sit down with the DPRK、uh, to deal with the issues of non aggression, of peace on the Korean Peninsula, of joining the international community. Of Of attracting assistance and economic development, providing North Korea is prepared to talk with the rest of the world about responsible、uh, approaches to the question of nuclear weaponry and the nuclear program. So they must engage in a discussion about denuclearization. And the immediate need is for them to freeze where they are, to agree to freeze. And not engage in any more provocative actions, not engage in more testing, particularly, in order to bring countries together uh, and uh, to begin a serious negotiation about the future. So I thank、uh, 
both of my colleagues for coming together for this important trilateral meeting. Uh, and the United States uh, will continue to work uh, very closely with both countries, with both Japan and the Republic of South Korea, Republic of Korea, to uh, uh, work through the ways in which we can summon the world through the Security Council and through other efforts to respond to this latest uh, reckless uh, choice that Kim Jong-un has made. Thank you. Do we have a mic that works there? This is the only one. Why don't you come over here? Do you want to come over here? <laughs> I mean, we're in, we're in equal opportunity microphone sharing. <laughs> So, okay, good, very good. Thank you, Minister Kishida and John. Earlier this month, when all three of our leaders participated at the East Asian Summit, one non-Asian leader aptly described North Korea as a ticking time bomb. In fact, in less than 24 hours after the EAS leaders adopted the first ever special declaration on non-proliferation. Pyongyang ridiculed the EAS leaders and the UN Security Council by going ahead with this fifth nuclear test. The recent nuclear test by Pyongyang provided ample proof that its nuclear program has neared the tipping point. Of the five nuclear tests conducted over the past decade, the latest one was the strongest ever. Moreover, the test frequency was significantly reduced from three years to eight months. North Korea also fired 22, 22 ballistic missiles of all types this year alone. Now, this means one ballistic missile almost every 10 days. This is a vivid example of the fanatical recklessness of the Pyongyang regime. With all these nuclear and missile tests, Pyongyang is now at the final stage of nuclear weaponization. They not only have advanced in terms of capacity, but has made it public that it will actually use those weapons. It has blackmailed preemptive nuclear strikes. What we see is a looming perfect storm that may not only pounce on Northeast Asia, but sweep over the entire world. This is the very reason why President Park Geun-hye warned at the recent EAS that if we fail to put a stop on Pyongyang's nuclear ambition today, we'll all come to regret it tomorrow. But this is an unprecedented challenge against the three of us, the members of the Six Party Talks, the UN Security Council, and the international community as a whole. I recall Dr. Henry Kissinger's International New York Times op-ed a few years ago. He stressed that it would be a shame if the mighty members of the Six Party Talks cannot take on North Korea's fanatics. To be more precise, however, the shame and ridicule would fall not just on the five members, but the UN Security Council and the UN itself. We are all stakeholders in this respect. What we should now be doing is 
to put a full stop and roll back Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs once and for all. We shall play all court pressing, mobilizing whatever means we have to denuclearize North Korea. Our message today is crystal clear. Number one, North Korea cannot continue to deride the Security Council and the United Nations. The Security Council must swiftly adopt a robust new sanctions resolution and prove its credibility and authority. Number two, Kim Jong-un and North Korean regime cannot get away with all their misbehavior and provocations. If they blindly insist on going down that road, it will be the very path to ruin. The international community as a whole must take advantage of the ongoing UN General Assembly and send out a united and forceful message against Pyongyang's nuclear development. At the same time, we should not lose sight of its dire human rights situation. Number three, North Korea cannot prevail over the international community, including South Korea, United States, and Japan. As the key stakeholders in this nuclear conundrum, the three of us will continue to master the collective will of the international community to this end. Thank you. はい、委員長からありがとうございました。それではあの冒頭の、え、取材はここまでとさせていただきます。え、